I have Flash Player 10.1 here running in pre-release form uh, on a number of devices. So let's take a look at what we've got. So the first device that I have here is uh, Nokia. I'll put it on the screen here so you can see it. And this is a mobile computing device. It's the Nokia N900. And it actually currently supports Flash Player 9 out in the market. Uh, today, I'm able to show it, though, running uh, Flash Player 10.1, which is coming to Nokia's mobile phones in 2010. And the Nokia team's been doing great on this. You can see this is uh, the TBS website, as you would view it on a personal computer, running on this smartphone. I can scroll it with my finger. You can see there's advertisements, and there's video, as well as there's animated Flash content running here. And if I want to interact, of course, I can just tap on the screen. So if I want to go back and and see this other, uh, see the office again, I can tap on the office, and it will interact. It got the button press in Flash, loads the content, it's animating just as you'd expect. So it's exact same content you're seeing on the PC running on the Nokia smartphone. OK, so the next device that I wanted to show you is, um, it's an Android smartphone that is soon to be announced, um, running Flash Player 10.1. We've had to mask it a bit because it's not actually out yet. Um, <laughs> so, but I wanted to show you the performance that we're getting here uh, with Android and Flash Player 10.1. And last year at Max, we showed our initial progress with Flash. We had just started working on it. It actually wasn't even running in the browser at that time. Uh, now it is running in the browser on Android, and we've done a ton of integration work with the Android team and the Flash Player team working together uh, collaboratively to make this happen. So here's a website called Angry Alien. And you can see I can scroll with my finger, and if I want, I can go into uh, landscape mode so you can see that maybe better. And I'm going to go down and look at some content here. Let's see, let's, let's play Pirates of the Caribbean. Basically, what the site has done is taken movies and turned them into Flash uh, animations. So I'm going to tap that and load from the Angry Alien site. Here we come. Oh, I've got to plug in the audio. There we go. How far is Davy Jones? Now I'm going to go full screen by double tapping. because you missed me. <laughs> so you can see the audio sync is working, the vector graphics are rendering as you'd expect, the performance is good, uh, all is well. So now we thought that we would actually um, show a more ambitious application on the Android. And so what I'm going to show you now is Connect. And Connect is one of the more complicated uh, applications built on the Flash platform, and it allows you to do web conferencing. So I'm going to take the risk of doing some live web conferencing over the wireless here um, by going into Connect Pro, uh, which is now working on this device now. OK, it looks like it's loading. That's good. I'm going to log into the room as a guest. Hopefully, they will let me in. And it's connecting, waiting for host approval. All right, so now we're, we're in Connect. And I'm actually looking at um, our meeting and our meeting is actually using the slides that I was showing earlier. So you can actually see John and Chuck there. And if we bring up the personal computer here, I'll show you the meeting room on the, on the, on the Mac as well. So there's the meeting room. There's the phone. And um, there's a wireless connection into the room here. So if I, isn't that cool? So I'm going to change the slide here. And you can see it's going to notice over the network and change the slide in the wireless device. So you can actually walk around and participate in a Connect meeting. It's cooler than that, even. I've got this video feed here. Um, hi. And I'm going to actually try turning that on here on the mobile device. And hopefully, it will actually stream me onto the mobile device. Hello. Oh, my god. It's working. All right. <laughs> OK. So that is an um, incredible progress uh, with Flash Player on Android. I'm really excited to see uh, the, great, the great progress that we've made. I have another phone. <laughs> this is the Palm Pre WebOS. Great phone. And we've been working with the Palm Pre engineering team. This has multitasking and multi-touch capabilities on it. We're supporting all of that with Flash Player on the phone. And I'm going to show you here, actually, a few different cards. So you can see I've got a couple of different websites already loaded on the phone. And these websites have Flash content inside them. Let me plug in the audio here, too, so we can hear it. OK. Now, what I'm going to show you first um, is Yahoo Movies and a trailer that's playing uh, with Flash on the website. So I'm going to go uh, into this card here. And you can see there's some movie content right there on the site. And it's playing. 
And in fact, if I rotate the device here, come here. And then I can double tap to go full screen. So this is software rendering of Flash video running live on the Pre. Now we are not finished yet, we're actually going to be working on hardware accelerated Flash rendering uh, video, so you'll be able to get even flicker free uh, delivery. But this is just the software codec, great progress in the software codec. Now I've paused that, I'm going to go and show you a game here, and this is a game called Mind the Blocks on AddictingGames.com. Uh, so let's zoom that up. You can see there's a game there, I'm going to double tap it, uh, so we can go zoom in, come here and I'm gonna play the game. And this is an interactive Flash game. It's a casual game on the web. Uh, most casual games on the web today are built on Flash. And I can interact by tapping these blocks, and you can see it, it, it breaks the little blocks and they fall down, and there's a little animation as that's happening, and, and more blocks will come in. And so I'm able to play this game uh, right here on the Pre. Now again, I can pause that, it stops the Flash player running on that card, and I can go somewhere else. So, I want to show you not only smartphones, but also what we'd be doing across netbooks and television sets, because it's not just about smartphones these days, it's many different devices. And I have here, I happen to have here a few different netbooks, and when we first saw these netbooks come out on the market, um, people expect the performance to be like they see on personal computers, but just on a small device. And the initial performance of Flash content on these devices was not very good. And so our goal was to make your content play really well in these netbooks, and so we've been working in partnership with the device manufacturers, the embedded hardware providers, to make this a reality for you guys. And I want to show you first where we started, and then I'll show you where we are now with Flash Player 10.1 on netbooks. So here's where we started. It kind of looks more like a slideshow, really, than a video. So that's where we began. Now, let me show you where we are now with Flash Player 10.1. And I'm gonna go full screen. Amazing. So we're doing this in partnership with uh, the device manufacturers. In this case, this is an HP Mini 311. It's got the Intel Atom processor in it. We've been working uh, with Intel and the NVIDIA Ion processor, uh, which is a great hardware accelerator for the graphics that you're seeing, and great work with NVIDIA. Now, the next one I want to show you here is another netbook that is a, another HP netbook. And this one is running the, it's a Mini 110, has the Intel Atom again, in this, this case, the Broadcom Crystal HD acceleration. So we're working with Broadcom as well to deliver, again, really smooth video here running on this netbook. And then let's switch to the last one here. Uh, this is a netbook uh, that is driven by an ARM-based NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor uh, from Mobi Nova, and you can see the video also playing really well in that. So now you can get great Flash experiences across netbooks as well with Flash Player 10.1. So now let's take a look. Great work by the teams on this thing. A lot, a lot of people cooperating to make that happen. Let's look at televisions. So I'm going to turn on my little TV here. You guys get to have the big TV. Um, and what we have here is our work on Flash Player on set-top boxes, uh, which will be coming into the market over time, and you'll be able to actually get an internet experience and streaming Flash video on your television set. And we're actually watching Flash video streaming in HD uh, on the TV here right now. I wish I had this TV in my house. Um, and this is a Broadcom set-top box. Now I can interact with this. You can see I can pop out a menu on the side. So this is a Flash user interface, and I can go and scroll around and look at different items. And if I want to, I can go and play some pre-recorded material. So here I'm going to the, the Nova uh, area of the device, and you can see I can interact and zoom between different sections. Notice the responsiveness is very quick on the set-top box, and I can go and play another piece of HD video content, uh, which is playing locally uh, in, in Flash HD format. In the extreme ice-bound regions of the Earth, Something unprecedented. So again, incredible clarity with Flash video across not only netbooks, but also television sets. So thanks to the Flash team for really doing a great job on this. Okay.